This is a GRA quant practice question. This from the topic statistics and averages focuses on the concept range and easy to medium difficulty question. It's a lovely question. It helps you get a good handle on the concept of ranges. Let's get started. The range of weight of boys in a class is 15 kgs. Essentially, the heaviest boy minus the lightest boy equals 15 kgs. The weight of the heaviest boy minus the weight of the lightest boy is 15 kgs. And there are the girls in the class is 19 kgs. What we need to compute is the range of weight of the class. The heaviest person minus the lightest person, boys and girls taken together. If the lightest boy in the class is 7 kgs lighter than the heaviest girl in the class. So let's make sense out of this in a while. What I want you to do is the approach that I'm going to take and I want you to take the same approach is let's use these three pieces of information. We have four people here. The heaviest boy, heaviest girl, lightest boy, lightest girl. From these three statements that we have about the ranges and the lightest boy and the heaviest girl, let's try and plot these four people in ascending order of weights. Once you have achieved that, we have done 75% of the question. Then all it takes is to basically plug in a value for one of those four people and arrive at the heaviest and the lightest and therefore the range. Take this approach, pause the video right now, try and see if you can get to the answer. It should take you all of probably a minute to get to the answer. Come back to the video to validate your answer. Right? Let's get started. Let's make sense out of each of these statements. The first statement, the heaviest boy and the lightest boy, the difference is 15 kgs, the range is 15 kgs. We want to assign two variables. Let the weight of the lightest boy be BL, B for boy, L for lightest and the heaviest boy be BH. So BH minus BL equals 15. Or you can say BH equals BL plus 15. Let's do a number line kind of an arrangement so we know what we are talking about. BL to BH, this gap is equal to 15. So go to the second statement. The range of the weight of the girls is equal to 19 kgs. Let GL be the lightest girl, the weight of the lightest girl and GH be the weight of the heaviest girl. So GH minus GL equals 19 or GH equals GL plus 19. Again, the number line is a better way to understand what we are talking about. Lightest girl on the left, heaviest girl on the right. The gap between these two equals 19. So we have for one set and for another set. The third statement actually gives a link between these two. It says that the lightest boy is 7 kgs lighter than the heaviest girl. Let's plot that as well. Here we have the lightest boy. He is lighter than the heaviest girl. So how much lighter? He is lighter by 7 kgs. Let's basically get all of these three things together. Let's start with this. The heaviest girl, the lightest boy, the gap is 7 kgs. The heaviest girl to the lightest girl, the lightest girl moves 19 kgs to the left of the heaviest girl. The lightest boy is moving only 7 kgs to the left, which means the lightest girl is going to go further down to the left, which means that this is the ascending order of these three people right now. Lightest girl, Heaviest girl, this gap is 19, of which 7 is bridged between the lightest boy and the heaviest girl. So the gap between the lightest girl and the lightest boy should be the balance 12. Because if this is 19, this is 19 is known to us, we have found it here. This is 19, of which 7 is bridged here, the remaining 12 will get bridged here. Let's go to this information. The heaviest boy is 15 kgs to the right of the lightest boy. 7 kgs to the right is the heaviest girl. We have to go 15 kgs to the right. So the heaviest boy is going to be further to the right. This gap is equal to 15. Of which 7 is bridged here. So this part is going to be equal to 8. I'm just going to put all of these things in a printed form and arrive at the same thing in an ascending order. This is ascending order. Lightest girl, lightest boy, heaviest girl, heaviest boy. In a printed form so there's no confusion about what we are talking about. Here we have lightest girl, lightest boy, heaviest girl, heaviest boy started by saying that this gap is equal to 7. This entire thing is equal to 15, is equal to 19. So if 7 is covered here, this should be equal to 12. The gap between the lightest boy and the heaviest boy is equal to 15. Of which 7 gets covered here, so this should be the balance 8. So which is exactly what you have written here. Beyond this point, as I mentioned, all that we are going to do is basically we are going to assume a value for the lightest person, which happens to be the girl. Let's just plug in some value for it. Let's say she weighs 40 kgs. Now we know this gap is equal to, we'll go to the, this one is equal to 19. So the lightest girl is 19, 40 kgs heavy. The heaviest girl is going to be 19 more than that, which is going to be 59 kgs is her weight. Go to the lightest boy, lightest boy is 7 kgs lighter than the heaviest girl. So that's going to be equal to 52 kgs. The heaviest boy is 15 kgs heavier than the lightest boy. So he should be equal to 67 kgs, 52 plus 15, 67. We need to find out the range of the team. The heaviest person is 67 kgs. Lightest person is 40 kgs. So 67 minus 40, 27 kgs is the range of the weight of the team. Quickly run through this in a printed form. 
all that we are doing is we're going to be assuming a value for the lightest person. We're going to assume that I took it to be a 40. So the lightest girl weighs 40. This step says the heaviest girl therefore is going to weigh 59. 40 plus 19. The lightest boy is 7 kgs lighter than her. I'm repeating it once more in a printed form. So therefore this is going to be 7 lesser than that which is equal to 52. The heaviest boy is 15 more than the lightest boy. So that makes the heaviest boy's weight to be 67. Heaviest member of the class is 67 kgs heavy. And the lightest member, the weight of the lightest member is 40 kgs. The difference between these two equals 27 kgs. So keep one thing in mind, such cases when there are multiple teams or multiple groups given and then they are giving a link between the group, try and first see if you can arrange them in ascending order. Once you have done that and you have got all these gaps filled, right? then all it takes is to plug in a value for one and get to the answer. Algebra is probably not the best way to go about it for solving this question. It takes more time, you could go wrong somewhere. Assuming a value and this ascending order, number line equivalent is the best way to solve this question. Before you leave, I want you to do two things. One, sign up as a trial user for Visaco's online GRE course at online.visaco.com. Takes all of three minutes and two steps to get started. And lastly, subscribe to this channel, youtube.com slash We keep adding newer questions, give you tips, tricks on how to crack the GRE.